Okay, uh, the next one is we will go to the timer 1 function. Uh, similar to timer 0, uh, timer 1 also have the timer mode and counter mode and they also have their own register. So uh, the timer 1 in uh, our PIX is 16-bit so that means we need the 2A uh, register to store the value. This means called uh, TMR1H and TMR1L. Uh, okay, now uh, let's go to the operation of timer 1 and uh, uh, look at the flowchart of the timer 1. Uh, we can see that it's, uh, it's more complicated than timer 0 but uh, it's still uh, not so uh, difficult. Uh, okay, so in timer 1, uh, which piece we will concentrate on? Okay, the first here we go to the left to right, okay? Here is this one, E4. Uh, if we have another uh, restore to generate the clock, we will use this one. So just set this one equal to 0. So that means we, we, we don't use this one, okay? We don't use this one. So here, okay, we will set this one equal to equal to zero. So that means we will use the internal clock of the peak. That means we provide the frequency of crystal here is symbol 20 megahertz, okay? And then if we go here, here we will choose the rescaler, rescaler, to the rescaler, and then. Uh, we have two direction, one here and one here. Okay, if we choose this one, this here is, uh, if we uh, we don't have an, another clock to synchronize with with this one, so we just ignore this one. Okay, just ignore this one, ignore this one. So just set this one we go to zero. Okay, we go to zero, and then it will go to this way, this way, and this way here, right? This way here, right? Okay, this way. Ah, sorry. This one, if we set zero, it will synchronize with the clock input. And here, we just set one. Sorry, this one, this bit, set one. Okay, so we will go to this way. Okay, this way. And then here, we just set this one one to turn on the timer and then the timer will increase will increase uh, will increase okay uh, and uh, how to how to assemble i want to generate the uh, interrupt every 30 second 30 microsecond 5 millisecond 1 second and 1 millisecond uh, similar to timer zero okay so if we use the crystal with 20 megahertz so the cycle the duty cycle will be 20 divided by 4 right so that means uh, sorry f will go 5 megahertz right 5 megahertz and then the duty cycle is 0 0.2 right 0 0.2 so here uh, the timer 1 is 16 bit so how much will it count it will count to this number 65,000 535 okay from this one it will go back to zero okay so we will set the number for the timer one count uh, increase to this number so okay 30 microsecond right so okay so we will have the equation similar to similar to timer zero minus x x a the initial number for timer 1, right? Multiply 0 0.2, right? Equal to which number? 30, right? Oh, very small number. Okay, so x so the equation x will be plus some number here, right? So here uh, we will set the initial number for timer 1 a x. Okay, x x okay so uh, now I want to set the number uh, the 
to set the uh, the interrupt example two i want to set the interrupt you to five millisecond five millisecond okay so uh, how can we set how can we set it okay here we have the full equation similar to similar to time one right minus x multiply 0 0.2 multiply rescaler here equal to 5 milliseconds that means 5000 right 5000 ok 5000 ok so x will be equal to 5000 5000 right ah uh, sorry this will equal to uh, 65 right so equation right minus 5000 divide 0 0.2 multiply by rescaler okay if we don't have the uh, rescaler here the equation will be x will be minus okay so we have the equation the rescaler here x will be plus some number okay so we can solve the problem okay 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 uh, we can uh, summarize us uh, if we want to use the timer one as the timer function we have to use uh, this those register and uh, the first one is t1 con right this one and this one two register is for uh, uh, store the, the value of the timer one every time it's increased this one is we just care about this two bit right this one uh, this one for enable the the en interrupt enable the global interrupt and this one is the flag uh, of the interrupt when the interrupt happen this bit will become one okay and this one is to generate the the, inter the uh, interrupt function okay let's have a look at the t1 this one form. here uh, uh, as discussed before right uh, we can choose the rescaler here from 1 to a you can see that in the time of one the rescaler the maximum rescaler just a just a just a okay and the, this one we don't use the uh, outside oscillator right we don't use another we just use the oscillator or the crystal of the the the, the peak so we don't use the number one we set this one right zero and this one we we do not single nine right so we set this one right and this one is uh, we set this one is zero right okay and this one we enable the timer and then we will have the timer okay okay and then uh, we use the timer one with the uh, CCS compiler so we just care about two functions first one is set up timer one and then this we set up timer one right and then we have the function set timer set timer one set timer one it's symbol the initial value is symbol 10 somewhere like this right and this one is set up timer one we we use the t1 internal right and then the device right the press scaler example this one we can use and uh, uh, example we have this one uh, we will uh, turn on the LED after one second, uh, similar to the example in uh, time zero. Uh, let's have a look at the code. Uh, let's have a look at the code. Here, example, I define the variable right here, right? And then I set up the timer one, internal, and then rescaler is A, right? And then I set the initial number E, this number, right? Because, why? Why this number? because I solve the equation last equation I have this number and then uh, the total here is about uh, one uh, thousand 
okay 1000 and I multiply with 100 times of the variable variable I will have one second here I will have one second here right and this is the example code for the timer function of timer 1 okay uh, now let's go to another mode of timer 1 this is the counter mode or counter mode the counter does mean uh, we generate the the points here the points here to the this pin 15 okay and then we will have the the counter mode uh, similar to uh, timer 0 and the number of the counter will store in this in this register okay this and to choose the counter mode is the uh, uh, very easy here we just set this one e zero set this one is zero and this one we set this bit e is one this one this one and then we set this one e e one or e one we don't have any clock outside right clock outside and then we set the timer one e timer one e one is one and then we will have the timer will increase the number the timer will increase the number here okay okay so to set up the uh, the counter mode for timer one we follow the example here example here we set up you the function set up timer one we use the t1 external that means we use the counter mode and this one a to uh, the bridge scalar e by two by two and this one we set the timer one is zero that means the initial number for the timer is zero and we enable the, the interrupt function of the pick and here you can see uh, the, the, the answer Here you can see that I set up the uh, set up timer here and uh, uh, the scalar I set it to one. It is one in the right. Okay, here we one. And then here what I what do I do? I will read the value of the timer and then if the value is forty three, I will output low in 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 zero. That means I put the button three times. The, 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 the left to turn on here you can see that here I put three times and then the left turn on okay let's turn on Now I change the number equal to two, two. So that means I have to press the button six times because press scalar is two, right? I pick three times: one, two, three.